In this video, I'm about to do something crazy. I'm going to take the earth and I'm going to keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger until we die. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to do this to all a bunch of different planets and see what effects it has on our solar system. So stick around. Okay, let's do this. So we got the earth. There's the moon. All right, let's make the earth two times the size and let's see what happens. Boom. Whoa, what did I do? I just deleted all the land. What the heck happened to the land? It's gone. It's just a water planet. Now. Okay, okay. So, wow. So it's literally just water and the poles. So Earth similarity, 87.7. Life likelihood, 49.3. So we're still okay. When I made the radius two times, the mass went to eight times the amount of Earth. So that's, I mean, that's for all you math guys out there. Explain that one. Like, is it going to change the orbit of the moon? The moon looks okay so far. I mean, it looks, I mean, right? I'm pausing the simulation. I mean, that's, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way that's going to be good. I mean, look how close that's already getting to the earth. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's slow this down. Lower down and let's see what's going to happen. It's getting very close to the earth. This can't be good. That is so close. Oh, look at the shadow. Look at the shadow. Oh, no. The moon just exploded. Oh, no. What happened? The moon is exploding. Look at all the fragments coming off of it. And it's turning into a giant glowing orb of death. I just recreated the moon from Majora's Mask. Look at this thing. Okay, wow, that can't be good for the Earth. Let's see. Let's play it out in time. Oh, the moon just ignited. What the heck? The moon is it's like we have two suns now. Slow down. Coming in hot. What's going to happen? Oh, man. Let's check on the Earth. Has this moon destroyed the Earth yet? Is, is, is it hurting the Earth or are we okay? No, we're okay. 43.3. Okay, we're good. Don't worry about it. There's the James Webb Space Telescope, by the way. Oh, God, the James Webb Space Telescope just crashed into Earth. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Lower down. Look at this. Carnage. Destruction. Look at the moon. Wow, it just keeps exploding every time it goes by the Earth. Okay, well, if that's what's going to happen, we're still alive. Not writing anything off yet. Composite. Look, look at this. Life likelihood 0%. Oh, I killed us all. Was it the James Webb Space Telescope smashing into the Earth at a zillion miles an hour that killed us? Or is it just the moon fragments here? What is going on? Yikes. Look at it. It's like spraying the Earth. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at that. That's from the moon. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. 1,500 degrees. There you have it. But now let's see what happens when I make other planets in the solar system bigger too. Okay, so we got everything reloaded. And I was thinking, what do you think about starting with Mercury? Let's see how big we can make Mercury before it starts messing with the solar system. So, and let's go make the radius times two. So we're now at two times Mercury. Let's see what happens. Anything gonna get pulled out of wax? Anything gonna crash? I don't know, let's see. Doesn't really look like much is happening. Nothing's really changed. So let's make that another two. So this will be four times the size of Mercury. Look at that. So 1.5 Earths or 3.5 Earths. Let's try that out. I can't tell if anything's changing. I don't think anything's changed so far. Let's make it another times two. Now I'm wondering, is it because Mercury is so close to the sun that nothing really gets affected? That might be what's happening here. What are we at? 16 now or 32? I forget, but let's do it. Now we're at six, six Earths of radius or 0 0.7 mass of Jupiter. Mercury is gigantic and still looking okay. Well, let's times two that. Okay, we're now at 1.2 radius of Jupiter or 5.7. Nothing's really changed. Let's do it again. Let's go more. Oh, times two again. Oh my Lord. So now we're at 45 times the size of Jupiter, 45 times the mass of Jupiter. And the radius is 2.3 Jupiters. So the sun is dancing now. So we have a little, we got a little something going on here. Look at that. So Mercury is now, and look at Mercury. Oh Lord, it's getting hot. Our base, like Venus has shot out from its orbit and Earth and Venus are almost on the same trajectory now. Oh Lord, Mercury and the sun and Venus just got shot inward now. So Venus, Venus is going crazy. Whoa, Venus. And Venus, I think Venus just got shot out of the solar system. Look at that. There it goes. Goodbye, Venus. Nice knowing you. There's our answer with Mercury. Okay, so if Mercury got <laughs> to the size 
of 45 Jupiters. Maybe it's going to shoot Venus out into the, the, the wilderness. Look, there goes Venus. It's still going. It's gone. Goodbye. Um, So that's the most likely thing I think to happen with that. Okay, so I just reset everything. Everything's back to normal. Now, what happens if we were to take Jupiter and make it smaller? And let's start by taking the radius and we will crank that down by 0 0.5. Boom. So far, nothing that I can tell. All right, next thing to do, let's do it again. Take it down by half again. So now we're at four Earths. Nothing again. Let's just keep going. Take it down again. Take it down again. And again. And again. Now a couple millimeters. And it weighs a couple milligrams. All right. I mean, there you go. Jupiter doesn't really affect anything. Let's just give it one more one more go just to really be 100% sure. Jupiter's fine. I mean, other than all of the uh, asteroids that would now just destroy us because Jupiter would be there to clean them all up for us. But okay, now let's go to Uranus, okay? Everyone's favorite planet, all right? Uh, put it in the comments if this is your favorite planet. <laughs> let's just make this the biggest thing we can do. Let's just keep cranking this sucker up, okay? Radius times 10. Let's go. Okay, we're going to zoom out just to really just to really see what's going on. So Uranus, Uranus times 10. Boom. Now we're at three Jupiters, 47 Jupiter mass. Okay, it's heating up. It's getting a little hot. Oh, yeah, I always forget Uranus. Um, the poles are like sideways and it spins sideways. It's like a bowling ball. Look at that. That is cool. Let's see. Let's just keep cranking it up. Another 10. Let's go. Whoa. What? I just made it a star. What kind of star is this? Whoa, did I just make it a pulsar? What the heck just happened? Mass of the sun. Is that like a pulsar star? Oh my good God. What have I done? That's intense. Let's uh, speed up time and just see. Oh God. Look away. Look away at my creation. Look away at what I have done. Look at, and it's not even moving anymore. That's Uranus is no longer orbiting the sun. It is literally just its own thing. Okay, Saturn is now look at Saturn is orbiting Uranus. Is the sun? The sun is now orbiting Uranus. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. Look, everything from our old solar system is coming over to Uranus. Here comes Jupiter and Saturn right here. They're coming in. So I guess, you know, if we had another star in our solar system, things would be different. Shocking, isn't it? That was a shocking one. It, it, it wasn't really. But what what the heck did I create? If you guys know, did I just make a pulsar star? Please let me know. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this simulation and all these different things, please give this video a like. Please think about subscribing to um, every subscriber related accounts. And if you have any comments on this video or if you want to see anything in the future, just let me know. I love doing this stuff. I love reading your comments. So uh, this was fun. I had fun. I hope you had fun. And until the next time, we will see you later.